Oh dear, people out there and look about. It's something about what most people don't really come across too often. And I've got a picture here recorded of the Bible. Um, one of the interesting things about the Bible is that um, it gives the uh, story, the message. But here is the details of uh, of the giants that's in the Bible. And it gives you the scientific proof in different parts of it. And these are not Photoshop, ladies and gentlemen. These are real pictures of bones that they found underground over in the Middle East and di in different parts of the country and what land and even ancient giants, you know, where people come from. And I thought this was pretty interesting uh, to know because it's about the story about the Nephilims and the giants and how the, did these people exist and according to this page right here you have people from all over the, the country the I mean the world discovering bones unusual bones on the human body that's ten times the normal body of a human being and uh, it's real deep interesting i hope you know it really catches someone's eye and this backs up you know during the time of the beginning of the bible uh where did all these giants did exist in the land and so i uh, just want to you know different areas from past decades and goes back to literally six thousand almost about forty six thousand years on this planet. Um and they got the bones and, and the proof of everything. And I think that's pretty really uh really unique to have something like that. But I just that's one the one I wanted. It, uh this page is uh the name of this page if you if you make like scientific stuff like that, uh let me go to the top of it. It is called um and also um you can see it shows you the YouTube channels too. Where to find this at is uh called six thousand years dot org amazing Bible discoveries. And it has um it has the pictures and Wow, it's just amazing what you see. Uh, that it just goes to show you that the Bible is real. That it's, it's, it's legit. You know, the giants did exist for generations after generations of giants that's roamed the land for, you know, for a certain amount of time. But anyway, let me start right here. And also, I'm going to. Let me see. Give it. Hello, out there. This is James again. There's another page um, called God's Loves Other People. You can also find it in an original Hebrew language, and it talks about the the scriptures about the Bible too, the sons of God, daughters of men, and it explains all the different scriptures describing the Nephilim in which the earth early pages and that was showing you the proof of the times of how long these race of giants been in the earth from the previous page but this also backs up biblically where where these these nephilim you know giants still exist and it just gives you you know biblically in a translated from the he Hebraic Torah about what happened during the time of the different you know discussions with um different events happening with in the Bible, you know, like the David and Goliaths and the different ones and what was the names and the names of the giants too. And I thought this was pretty fascinating.
to share with this. But uh, this is one in one page. Here. It also talks about the fallen angel, the deceiving angels, and what it shows scriptures about that too. You know how it's connected. But uh, that's another one. You know, be back with another one. Hello there, James here. About to show you different pictures of heaven. Uh, when you, one day when you leave this world, you're going to be up in the kingdom of God. And whether you go there to, your soul leaves your body, your soul, your spirit leaves your body, and you stand before his great throne. And I got some pictures of his throne. It's beautiful. Uh, it's awesome. That one right there. That's uh whoever got that one, that's a nice one. Of a throne room of God. That's a nice one. That's that's pretty that's really nice. But this is just the images of God. His throne room. And it's real. Ladies and gentlemen, whoever created this has had a really a good imagination. It had a good vision of it. That have an idea that what it looks like up there in the kingdom of God. Um, this is something to really think, you know, hope like this recording that puts your mind at ease. You know, you know, if you have someone out there that passed away or about to go leave this world, knowing that they don't, you know, they they be, was well loved in the earth and they going they gonna be up there. In his kingdom one day. And uh. That's awesome. You know. The throne room of God is just. See that's one with the book of Revelation. Where the elders. And the whole kingdom of God come down. To worship. This is his elders. And that's his throne room right there. That's powerful. That is powerful. In a while. This is awesome. But, uh, wanted to show the different images of this because we have so many things that show it dark and demonic in this world. So I thought sometimes you need something to show a little positivity about God. This this we near holidays represent showing my images of evil, but I want to show some images of good that kind of keep you focused and and the reason why is good. So when you go, if you ever decide to go to church, knowing that this kingdom, let me show you that this kingdom. Is looking over you. Every time you pray, you, you, you bust through the atmosphere. Your prayers is going up before this, this throne room, this awesome throne room up here. And when you pray for somebody, you have angels there to hear your prayers. You have the one that sits at the throne room and Hopefully that it, if anybody be able to view this my this video, you will be blessed to know that uh God loves you and this is that he's at the throne and give give him that love and that time. And uh so I, something made me want to make the video to just give you hope. Whatever you're going through out there, because this, this is going to be a, this, this month going to be kind of a dark month. So, I decided to do something different with my video. But, uh, if anybody get a chance to see this, but this is where you, you're going through one day, people. You're going to be right out here among these people. Your soul, these are souls of people all out here 
going before the Lord and his angels and everything. And this is this is gives you a good image of it. But one day when we all leave this world, that's where we all head to. The throne. The throne room. That's exactly what it is, the throne. The holiness and hope. That is a that's a definite <coughs> good answer, sorry about that. But uh it's beautiful up there. Whoever got these beautiful paintings of it, it's awesome. It's just some of them look so real. And uh and really, um this is every kingdom that you see in the earth started with the image of a kingdom in heaven. Um, even the dark kingdoms mimic they they kingdom after the kingdom in heaven to have their own throne because Satan has his own kingdom. But uh and that's the truth. I hope I got a little time here, a little more time, but I just wanna point this out that those who are believers and non believers and those are non believers, this is you know, hopefully the people who do get a chance to view this who maybe they don't have a relationship with God but know that you're going to be before all this up in heaven one day and uh set before the throne room of God and your where your relatives at, friends at and those who made it to make the decision that they went on into the, the kingdom of God and this is a reality. This is a reality. Uh, it's not just a fantasy, ladies and gentlemen. This is a reality. We all going to be there one day. We all going to have to face to face and give account for everything that we do, whatever word that we say, what kind of things that we did on this earth. And this, so this is a setting you're going into when you're going in before his throne room. These are some of the images, but these are, give you a good idea what the throne room was going to be like. And so that, I just well, I want to record that tonight. Hold on one minute. Back again, ladies and gentlemen. James here. Um, I also want to show you the opposite side. And this is the place you do not want to go one day. You don't want to go down here. Where there's suffering, gnashing the teeth, burning hot. You gotta look at this image over here. And, uh, everybody's celebrating Halloween. But this is the origin of the images of Halloween that generated Halloween. These images of death and hell. And, uh, people burning forever and in every wicked demonic entity that you can even imagine is down there and this is one place you do not want to end up at you don't want to end up in some place where you, it's torment the fire you can't breathe you can't there's no happiness there's no hope there's darkness you're being tormented you're being tortured in, in every way imaginable forever and ever for eternity that's a long time longer than any but these I want to show you the reality of these images because this is this is a real place too this is a real place this is going this is people going through this right now who didn't believe in God and didn't did the wrong thing hell's real don't let people tell you they're not real people are being tormented when they leave this body. And this is one place you don't want to go to. And it's nothing. There's no one's having a party down there. Having a good time. It's not. So. You don't want to go to his. To that kingdom. To the dark kingdom. It's very dark. You're down there for eternity. And you're being tormented by demons. So I just want to. Give you these images and 